Okay, so there you see it as best that you could hear it because obviously it didn't. We don't have any control. You and I don't have any control. But the thing about it is, is that this guy is literally a train wreck, and he's absolutely a thorn in the side of anybody who would attempt to um, do their job. I don't know why she won't shut him up. I know that she possibly wants him to shut up, but let's just flip the script for a second. Let's just say she doesn't actually have any control over this dude and that he's stalking her now. <laughs> you remember, he comes from that era of the love songs when all of our love songs was stalking in a certain type of way, right? Uh, e even Sting had that song, e Everywhere You Go, I'll Be Watching You. Every breath you take, every move you make, baby, I'm going to be watching you. So I'm trying to figure out if this cat is popping up everywhere by invitation and if he's making these media uh, appearances by request uh, from her or if he's even stopped to ask her, what does she think? Is it okay? Would you mind? To me, I would feel really, really ticked if a dude that I was dealing with and got into all this trouble with was still running around here flapping his liver lips Meanwhile, I'm sitting here in the hot seat. Look, the only people that stand to lose in this situation is her. Look at it that way. He, of course, can just skate and do whatever it is that he wants to do and just keep on going. He doesn't have to worry about a thing, not one thing. He can just go on ahead and become that media guy and, you know, become a, one of these cats that talk on the, uh, what do they call the commentators that actually come on those shows, the analysts or whatever, he could definitely be that person. It doesn't necessarily have to be that he just sits back in the cut. Hey, he made 700 grand and okay, he just, I'm not sure if the house sold or not, but I know they put it up for like little or nothing. It was like $700,000 in Atlanta. Um, and they have big houses that they, they considered his home a mansion there in Atlanta a suburb of Atlanta. I don't understand why it only went for 700 unless of course they were trying to lowball the number so that they could divide the assets between him and his wife. Either way, this dude is doing a lot better than she is right now. I'm going to rummage around and see what we can find because I definitely, I wasn't planning on letting you see her whine and cry, but I think it's important now that I've mentioned it where she said that she was actually being over-sexualized. I'm being over-sexualized, is what she says. And um, let's see, let's look at my history. I think I have it here, where she even mentioned the fact that, in her opinion, it was not cool for Giuliani to make the statements that he made. Now, what's going to happen is this video will also cover what we just saw, right? And I don't own this. I'm just using this piece for commentary. That's it. Commentary and, you know, entertainment. That's what we're doing. We don't own any of this stuff coming from CNN. And again, the reason why I like to use CNN is because <laughs> you can hear everything that they want you to know. You can hear about them just crying like a baby, crying like a baby and needing everybody to feel for them. You don't need to feel for anybody. Let's just put it down here where the cows can get it. As my friend uh, dad says, uh, here's the deal. This was never about a relationship between the two of them. Once that became an established point and once they established the fact that it did take place prior to the case starting with Trump, we needed to look at the multi prongs of this case. And the other prongs are this. She lied under oath. She lied on documentation. She lied when it came to how he, if he was or was not reimbursed. Every single thing that happened beyond the point of the relationship became an issue. And that's what this is really about. Are you an ethical district attorney or are you a not, you know, not so ethical? Now, I'm not sure if anybody has been following, but maybe we need to pull that up. The uh, courts that are there in Georgia, there's a group of you know people that are looking at the ethics committee that are looking at her. And they had a very damning uh, interview that was done with the gal that used to work for her. And she told the truth as she knew it. And it doesn't look good. Now, here is what I know. Having DeSantis as one of the individuals that work for her, and by her I mean funny, as her media guy, 
we already know his history, where he came from, who he is. And if you don't, then let me just say this. He is a gentleman who has worked in Washington, D.C. for a very long time. 